Bonjour, mes amis. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own artisan bread. Lately, when you go to the store, you pick up what you think is a fresh loaf of bread. But then you see the ingredients list and come to the conclusion that it's just heavily overpriced for what you're getting. This recipe is very simple to make, but it does require a bit of prep work. The only ingredients you will use are flour, yeast, water, and a bit of salt. While you gather your tools and equipment, let's talk a little bit more about artisanal bread. It is typically made by hand and involving traditional techniques pressed down through generations. Depending on how you make it, the flavors can range from tangy to slightly sweet. They have a rustic appearance with a thick, crusty exterior and an airy, chewy crumb. Artisanal bread usually undergoes a long fermentation period, which helps develop its complex flavors and textures. And last but not least, each loaf bears the mark of the maker's craftsmanship, making every piece unique. Now that you have your ingredients at hand, let's start baking. Start with three and a half cups of all-purpose flour and add two teaspoons of salt and whisk all together. Did you know in medieval Europe, bread was sometimes made with arrogant infected rye, which could cause gangrene, hallucinations, and even death. This condition, known as ergotism or St. Anthony's fire, led to mass hysteria and was even to witch trials and accusations of demonic possessions. Imagine the horror of a simple loaf of bread causing such chaos and fear. and a half a teaspoon of instant dry yeast. One and three quarters cup of warm water, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And give that a stir. It's very easy to make. And don't worry if you don't get the water correct, you can always add or little by little add some more till you get a good consistency. Use your hands or a spatula to mix it for a rough dough, but this is the no kneading method, so just keep stirring. If it is too dry, just add a, add a few more splashes at a time to achieve good texture. out of the way in this simple act we connect with a tradition that has nourished humanity for centuries it's a reminder that with patience care and a touch of love we can create something truly extraordinary and let it proof for five to eight hours. There are many techniques to speed up the process, like placing it in the oven with the lights on or a warm spot in your kitchen. Just be careful not to exceed 90 degrees to avoid killing the yeast. And of course, kneading. If you knead the bread, it will help the yeast distribute evenly throughout the dough, which can help it rise more uniformly and quickly. I'll see you in a few hours. So now that I've let my dough rise, I'm going to finish the baking process. I'm going to take that off gently. It looks like Freddy Krueger. If anybody's seen The Nightmare on Elm Street, that's what his skin looks like. Ugh. Anyway, so now we're going to flour the surface so we can get our dough ready. Make sure this is clean before you put any dough on it. Now that our dough is ready, let's flour the countertop. Now we place our dough on top and fold it in using a scraper. Next, you'll want to put a four quart Dutch oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes to warm it up. This will also allow the dough to rest for 30 minutes, allowing the gluten strands in the dough to relax. I'm going to put a little oil in the, the crusette. So let me see, it's a little hot. Wear gloves, a little oil. So now that we have crusettes all oiled up, you want to cut a slit, cut a slit on your dough. 
and this allows for expansion. Thus, liberally with liberally with flour. Maybe that's a little too much flour, but eh, it's fine. Now we're going to put it in our Dutch oven. Not. In there, the bread. Now we place it into the oven. Now that it's in your Le Crusette, you, if you don't have a Le Crusette you use, or a Dutch oven, you can use a similar size pan that is non-stick and oven proof, and uh, it'll do the same thing. With the lid on, put it in for 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. let it cook now. I'll see you in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes have passed so let's see how our bread looks. I'd be very careful because it's actually very hot so make sure you use good oven mitts. And there you have it. Delicious Artisanal bread. Let's get out of here. And there you have it. A beautiful loaf of artisanal bread made right in your own kitchen. Look at the golden crust and airy crumb. Absolutely perfect. Whether you're enjoying it fresh out of the oven with a pat of butter or using it to make your favorite sandwich, this bread is sure to impress. Don't forget to let it cool completely before slicing it. I'm going to slice it. Let's see how it looks. You're not supposed to slice it hot, so let's give it a shot. You know, I made a nice marmalade, peach marmalade earlier. So this is a nice peach marmalade. 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 Let's see how it tastes. Looks delicious. Let's put a little of this peach marmalade I made. delicious.